Uh, yeah, no, TikTok, TikTok's GGWP chat. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I don't even know if the trial is still going. If it is, I'll go play part of it. Oh, it still is. Oh, no, it was a seven-hour trial. Bro, the entire trial consisted of old heads, aka these mother yelling at the CEO of TikTok and not even giving him a chance to answer. Right? Instead of being like, hey, what do you think about this? Or, hey, can you answer this? All they did was, look at that. You're telling me this old lady. Yo, you're telling me this old lady has ever used, what is she going to say? Seven, article 10, um, uh, in terms of user data. Congressman, th thank you for the question. I'm glad you asked this. As I said in the opening statement, our plan is to move American data to be stored on American soil I by the American that. company. I understand that. I understand that. But, uh, uh... You see how she interrupts him? They all do it. He gets, like, six words out, and then they just say, oh, I get that. And then they just start grilling him again. They just start grilling him. They don't even let him fucking talk. And hey, Hey, if any, if any platform had a go, GG's, it's TikTok. TikTok's gone. Actually, it would be probably Facebook, because nobody fucking uses that dumbass app. Yo, let's try and find one person that's below the age of 50 without this haircut. Without, without the fucking, the straight down the line fucking Baldino haircut, dude. Like, every person is fucking old. Wow. Wow. One person. Wow, she was young. What does she say? In dollars, what was it used for? The employees, were they people that you already had that you just transferred over? and what types of roles will they have? Um, this uh, billion and a half US dollars is spread across many things, including the infrastructure we have to build, the migration of the data to a new cloud infrastructure, you know, and all the third She's letting him answer. We're hiring, and of course- Oh the my God, it's almost as if the young people aren't the fucking idiots in Congress. It's almost as if when you're above the age of 65 uh, and you're capable of receiving fucking social security, you should no longer be running a government. I know half of these people too have never used to TikTok. What is this lady about to say? You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee or the 150 million users of your app because it is an extension of the CCP. Oh, is she even asking him a question? Is she even at, isn't this the whole point of a fucking trial, dumbass? Aren't we supposed to ask people questions and get answers? Rather than saying, you damn well know this is an extension of the, the Chinese party. Do anybody remember the Mark Zuckerberg trial? Shit where he got uh, under a lot of flack for selling people's fucking private information. Oh, but that's not a banned app now, is it? Oh, oh, what a, what a, what a weird situation here, right? What a weird situation here. How... How when uh, an American company sells sells the user's info to other countries as well, that's perfectly legal. Or not, it's not it's not legal. It's not legal, but they do it and they don't get in trouble for it. With that, I yield back. Can I respond? Sure. Over here, it's not whatever. Yeah, see, bro, he's asking to respond. No, Yo, she mad on. as hell too. Who the fuck elected her? Nah. Like, I sit here and I look at 90% of these people in Congress. And I'm like, we really voted for them. But when you look at it, when you look at it and you look at the election, both options are fucking idiots. Both options are fucking stupid 90% of the time. It's like, it's like, it's like a double bad decision. Like, we never have, why can't we have one good decision? You know why? Because it's who's going to win the fucking party and it's who's going to do what the party wants rather than a competent young individual that actually wants to make the country better. It's some old, greedy, selfish, fucking leprechaun rat. That's fucking in Congress that just does what everybody else tells them to do and no matter the party I'm not even capping. It's no matter the party. It's Democrats and Republicans. It's both. It's fucking both Okay, they do what the party wants them to they do what, what they do when they're paid for uh, by, by big companies for lobbying When companies pay them a shitload of money. Oh, yeah, sure. No TikTok big threat And then they're gonna fucking sit there and spew absolute shit rather than actually saying something that makes fucking sense It's just like I don't think it's hey I'm not a fan of conspiracy theory but saying that it's a fucking security threat, and it does have security threat issues, right? I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't. But when you're sitting here and you're comparing it uh, to the Chinese government, and you're saying, oh, they're stealing our data for militaristic info and all this other shit. But then we ignore all the other American companies that do that shit. And we ignore the fact that, uh, I don't know, Instagram Reels just cut paying people for uh, short videos. It's a bit odd.
right when they're trying to ban TikTok. Instagram Reels cut their payment for people that are doing shorts, huh? It's like almost they, they know what's gonna happen. It's also weird that all the big media companies are uh, lobbying a lot and paying a lot of info, or not a lot of info, a lot of money to these congressmen that are, uh, you know, doing this right now and fucking shitting on them when they in reality probably don't give a fuck. Oh my god, I lost, I lost my shaker cup. If only there was one tagged in the bottom left of the screen. <laughs> Oh, wait, there is? Oh, how cool. Back to the bed. Bro, in four years, I'm going to be a congressman. I swear to God. I'm literally going to sit on that chair, and I'm just going to do what they do. I'm just going to fucking sit slumped in my chair like this dude. Just all the way the fuck back. And when they call me, I'm going to say, Uh, me don't know. Me don't know. Me don't know. And then I'm going to yield my time. I'm just going to sit there and fucking, and, and fucking, uh, gerrymander. What is it called? What is it called when you just sit there and stall for, like, hours? I'm going to do that shit. I'll be one of those dickheads that just fucking talks for 24 hours so they can't do anything. That'll be me. Filibuster. I'm a filibuster. I'm literally, no, that's, that's what I'm going to be known for. I'm going to have no political side. I'm literally going to get up there and I'm going to start talking about fucking The Sims 3. Get for five minutes. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Mr. Chu, um, like my colleagues, I'm concerned about the influence of China on TikTok and what that does for U.S. users. But I'm also concerned about... Bro, they also... Ooh. <laughs> yo, yo. That's you? Bro, nah, bro. I'm shaving my head. I'm shaving my head. At that point, that's that's like a palm-sized bald spot. That's yeah, that literally caught me off guard, bro. I was looking at I was about to say something, and then I peel over. I'm like, damn. I saw another clip of one of them, one of the congressmen going over trends and how they're deadly. And they're like killing, killing people in TikTok. Like that used TikTok. Like what TikTok trend has killed people? The only one I could think of was the Tide Pod Challenge. But that was Instagram. Benadryl? What, there was a Benadryl trend? There was a trend where people were just eating, what, hordes of Benadryl? What, to meet the hat man? The NyQuil Chicken Challenge? Who the fuck partake? Did any of y'all partake in the NyQuil Chicken Challenge chat? Ain't no no one cook their fucking chicken in NyQuil. That was a joke. That was not a trend. How the content in TikTok is being distributed, particularly to young people. This is not a problem unique to TikTok, but TikTok has 150 million users in the United States. And so I think you'll agree that TikTok has a particular responsibility to monitor content to make sure that it's safe and accurate. No, nah, no lie. No lie. I was about to say, like, what's weird is they're supposed to be representative of the people, right? And, like, in the people's interests. And, yes, they're trying to ban it in the people's interests. But don't, like, would you say that the majority of people don't want TikTok banned? I would say, like, if you polled all of TikTok, it would be, like, 75-25. It would be probably 75% don't want it banned. In all honesty, if it gets banned, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep posting my shit. I'm gonna keep posting on TikTok. But if they ban it, they ban it. It. Like, I'm not. It's for national security purposes. Is it, though? It's for national security purposes because they have our info. Wouldn't they are, Wouldn't it not even be a threat anymore if they already have it? And I love how every, every motherfucker that's like, I want the app banned. It's a national security threat. They're stealing our info. They also have the app. No, like, no, like, the app itself is, like, incredibly dangerous. And it'll be in, like, a TikTok comment section. I'm reading this. The app is incredibly dangerous. I really do think they sh that they should ban it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. And I'm like, why do you have the fucking app? Why do you, if, if you're so, if you're so keen on the app being a danger, like a deathly danger to people and yourself and your security, why do you have the app? Would that be fair to say? Yes, I agree with that. So, um, you know, I know you said in your opening statement, there's a ban on, for, or limited for kids under 13 and under 18 and so on. But I'm, I'm, I, I, I know it won't be news for you that that uh, computer savvy kids actually can bypass some of those restrictions. Oh really? 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 It's not like it's not like everybody does that on YouTube. Like I understand you want older people to be able to like help decide what is like uh safe and not safe for the country. But it's like when not when half of the people here have never even used TikTok for like more than five minutes and they're ranting about like the the unsafeness for our children and how like the app itself is like teaching deathly things. Like that doesn't really make sense. Like there are things on the app that shouldn't be on the app. 
But that's with, like, have you ever gone on Twitter? Have you ever gone on Twitter and seen somebody's head get smashed in with a fucking hammer? Uh, on, just, just open Twitter. Just open Twitter. Scroll for, like, four seconds. And then there's, then there's some dude just fucking pounding somebody's head in with a fucking mallet. Young people and parents who accurately put in the birth date and so on when registering for TikTok, I want to ask you what TikTok can do to make sure to monitor this, this content. And I want to give you some examples. What can TikTok do to prove that someone is the age they're saying they are? Well, we could implement an identification-based system where they have to actually show their ID or some form of that uh, substance if they were 18+. plus. But then they're conversely going to say, oh, well, no, that's a security threat. They're inputting their identification. That's a security threat. But if they're lying about their age, okay, that's an app threat. It's a lose-lose. Do you think TikTok will get banned? Before this trial, I thought no. After this trial, yes. I don't think it'll get banned till 2024. And I think they're going to try and force TikTok to sell it first. But TikTok is worth $55 billion. What company is going to buy it? Company ByteDance currently can access user data. Yes. Let's, uh, we have to be yes. more specific. ByteDance can access user, user data. Yes? Well, actually, the user de- mm, Yes. Okay. And then she keeps talking. Are you yes. watching the whole thing? No. Brady, 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 is that a genuine question? Are you watching the whole thing? Dude, this is a seven-hour trial. Hassan no. probably watched the whole thing. I'm not asking after Project Texas. I'm asking now. Yes. Some user data is public data. Maybe public. don't ask him a question if you don't let him fucking answer it, dumbass. Uh, like, I really hate this lady. This woman. Which means so you everybody can that. can search What's interesting to me is that you've used the word transparency over Yo, look how nice he's being. Yo, W Shozy Chu. Or Shoozy Chu. Bro, W this guy for fucking keeping calm. But he must have smoked a whole fucking doobie right before he walked into the fucking Congress office. I would have been fucking pissed. Half a dozen times in your opening testimony and subsequently again in your- Not in like a regular conversation because it's just a conversation, but an argument? You cut each other off? No to my colleagues. Yet the interesting thing to me is that ByteDance, your parent company, has gone out of their way to hide an airbrush corporate structure ties to the CCP, the company's founder, and their activities. You can look no further than the fact that ByteDance... But she really got her iPad out. ...site has been scrubbed. In fact, we found web pages from the Beijing Internet Association, the industry association charged with Communist Party building uh, work of internet companies in Beijing. They have been archived. She blamed Clash of Clans. You think she's just talking while she's while she's putting an archer archer circle around like a town hall six, just farming farming an AFK base. Since deleted, makes you kind of wonder why. Yes or no? Bite Dance is required to have a member of the Chinese government on its board with veto power. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. Uh, Bite Dance owns some. <laughs> well, my iPad says otherwise. My assistant that wrote this says otherwise. So, looks like we're at a crossroads here. You're wrong. You're wrong. Chinese businesses, and you're talking about this very special subsidiary that is Mr. for Show. Chinese business licensing. Mr. Show, I'm going to have to move on. You've said repeatedly that there is no threat. That this uh, Why? Yo, this is like so fucked. Like, this is happening in our democracy. Like, even if the app has security issues... This is not fair. Like, they're asking him questions, giving him zero time to defend the app or answer, and then just saying that they have to move on, and then they just pester him more. This is an inner, a platform for entertainment and for fun. I have to ask you then, if there is no threat to Americans, if there is no threat to our data, privacy, security, why did an internal memo from TikTok Corporate headquarters explicitly coach senior management to- oh, Yo, what the fuck? Downplay the parent company bite dance. Downplay the Chinese association. Downplay AI. From a leaked internal TikTok memo to company spokespersons. Quote, downplay the parent Yo, she really, she really set up this for this exact moment. She really set up this for this exact moment. She got her cheerleader in the back. He coach senior management to My quote, God, let me get a let me get one of those. You know when you're at like a senior basketball game and they all have those fat heads of the players where it's like those big cardboard cutouts? Bro, why don't people just start fucking holding those up? Downplay the parent company bite dance. 
why would they say downplay? You slay, Representative Kate Kamak. You slay, slay. The China. You're slaying right now. You're sl you're absolutely slaying. Association and downplay AI. This is from an internal memo from your company. Why, if you had nothing to hide, would you need to downplay the association with ByteDance in China? This was like entirely unneeded. Let's see, I, let's see if she lets him answer. You have not seen this memo. You can't oh, answer can that see. question. Mr. Show, I'd like to direct your attention to the screen. Yo, she is a fu Oh my god, she's so fucking annoying, dude. I hate her. I actually hate her. And I don't hate most people. I don't even know her, and I'm hating her right now. Holy shit. Okay, he's a lizard person. This man is not moving in any way. Oh, they're really playing a TikTok. What is it showing how a gun's made? That video was posted 41 days ago. As you can see, it is captioned me as F at the House Energy and Commerce Committee on March 23rd of this year. This video was posted before this hearing was publicly noticed. I think that's a very interesting point to raise. But more concerning is the fact that it names this chairwoman by name. Your own community guidelines. It has 112 likes. Me as fuck at the House Energy and Commerce Committee saying they're going to shoot it up. That you... Aren't there people that, like, actively send death threats to each other on Twitter and, like, say they're going to kill people? Yeah. Like... Like, this is deadass probably some, like, middle schooler. Like, <laughs> like, they're acting like this is some 35-year-old man that's like, has, like, a genuine intent. This is probably some kid just trying to fucking get a few fucking likes. Have a firm stance against enabling violence on or- Oh my god, bro. She actually- This is where the taxpayer dollar- Not taxpayer. This is where her- This is where her fucking, um, like, donation dollars to her fucking, uh- not committee. What is it called? Her association. This is where it's going to. These big cardboard cutouts. Form ...to threaten or incite violence or to promote violent extremist organizations, individuals, or acts. When there is a threat to public safety or an account is used to promote or glorify off-platform violence, we ban the account. This video has been up for 41 days. It is a direct threat to the chair... Oh, uh, maybe it wasn't bad because it has 112 likes. And they have a scanning system in place for when things gain popularity, they're re-scanned. Uh, it's crazy how I know this and you fucking don't. And you work for the government. When you post a video on TikTok, it does a rough scan, right? It does a rough bot scan. This is what I've at least come to the conclusion of from using TikTok. There's a rough bot scan about like, uh, I don't know, maybe like 10K views in, 20K views in, does another scan. It could ban it then. If it gets reported, they'll check it. It could get banned then, right? So when a video has 100 likes in a month and a half, they're not really going to scan it as a threat because it's not gaining any traction. Yes, it's inciting violence. It's probably not serious. That's not the point. But it's not gaining traction in any way. So they didn't look at it. Imagine being the kid. Imagine being the kid that's like watching your TikTok getting played in Congress. And you being like, no fucking way. And you expect us to believe that you are capable of maintaining the data security, privacy, and security of 150 million Americans where you can't even protect the people in this room? I think that is a blatant display of how vulnerable people who use TikTok are. You couldn't take action after 41 days when a clear threat, a very violent threat, to the chairwoman of this committee and the members of this committee was posted on your platform. You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee. Or Bro, if I'm him, I'm literally saying, what about every other death threat on every other platform? Because it is an What about Reddit? I'm going to move on. Last point I have. What about Reddit? Where people will post, where they'll literally post, like, in-depth threats. Can I respond, chair? Oh. Uh we're going to move on. What? Chair? ...of the CCP. And with that, I yield back. Can I respond? Chair? No. We're going to move on. No way. No way can I respond. Now we're going to move on. 
countless times today, but which we don't really have anything tangible to point Okay, to. I'm done with this. It's boring me now. Moving on. Are y'all ready to get into the unbans?